Hi, this is Joan McClong with Floodgate Medical, and today we're going to cover something a bit scandalous. Job search myths. And we're going to debunk them. That's right, job seekers fall prey into believing these almost urban legends about how the job market works. And most of them, honestly, couldn't be farther from the truth. I'm tempted to get in the psychology of it all, but I'm sure you didn't sign up for a Ben Stein style B.F. Skinner lecture. So let's just dive into the top four search myths so we can prevent you from drinking that Kool-Aid. Myth number one, I'll get recruited just like I've always been. Just because you've had a history of being recruited doesn't mean it will happen again. It's a humbling conclusion to arrive upon, but the sooner you get there, the better off you'll be. Age and salary tend to have an inverse correlation with being recruited. Plainly put, as your experience, roles, and salaries increase, your chances of being recruited decrease. Not always, but often. Now why? Because companies are a pyramid. There are fewer positions up top than at the bottom. Secondly, the more specialized your skills, the smaller the pool of opportunity. And odds that the timing of need, location, and opportunity align diminish exponentially. Once your mindset shifts, your whole strategy shifts. Instead of waiting for something to happen, you get out there and compete with resolve and wisdom. Two things your previously mentioned competitors are probably light on. The big takeaway here is, you might not get recruited. Don't sit on your hands. Get moving today. Myth number two. I've got several strong leads. One of them will work out. We can't tell you how many times we've heard this. Here at Floodgate Medical, our average first line manager openings see approximately 200 applicants. We screen roughly 40 by phone and recommend four to six to our client for in-person interviews. They hire one. That's a 0.5% chance. So that's bad news. Here's the good news. You can increase your odds by filling your pipeline. Never turn down a lead because you feel good about something else you've got lined up. If it's a reasonable opportunity, explore it before you reject it. You never know unless you give it a chance. The more job leads you have in your funnel, no matter where you are in the process with other opportunities, the better off you'll be. Myth number three, I'm going to consider this riff realignment fill in the blank as a much needed break and focus on some things I've neglected for way too long. All right, we're 100% supportive of family and traveling and enjoying everything this life has to offer. But please do not put your job search on the back burner. The longer you're unemployed, the less desirable you'll become to prospective employers. Think about a gallon of milk. It's got an expiration date stamped on the side. As harsh as this is going to sound, employers view you like a gallon of milk. Are you fresh or are you starting to get old? They begin to ask themselves questions like, why hasn't this person been scooped up already? Is there something they're hiding? So if you want to become a yoga instructor, take up stamp collecting, or go backpacking in Burma, go for it. But do not let that interfere with making your job search your top priority. Myth number four. I've had a couple of offers, but none of them were perfect. I'm going to wait around for something else. Newsflash, there is no perfect job. It doesn't exist. If you're being overly selective, you need to adjust your mindset. We aren't suggesting you lower your standards. It's crucially important to have a vision for your next role. But if you're nitpicking every job, looking for the reason to say no, then you need to realize that every job, every manager, and every company will have their flaws. To avoid this, I recommend watching your needs, wishes, and wants video. So there you have it. Don't fall prey to the temporary feel-good effects of these myths. They will mislead you and create significant setbacks that you can't afford.